Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by Ghostbed.com. <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Bros, fake news. We're giving you the realest fake news of the week, James. What are you laughing about? He's like so high energy and sweet before the cameras turn on, and then he just... Boom. Black Hawk Down. What was I doing that was so high energy and or sweet? Obviously, I was joking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Obviously, yeah. that has never happened. Got a body in the basement, probably. Body <laughs> in the basement. Top story, Drinking Broettes is number 36 <laughs> oh, in the world. Story. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you. Proud of you and Tiffany Hart. You guys are killing the game. Yeah. iTunes added you to the homepage today. <laughs> that was really exciting. It was I have a to big say boy that. deal. And then uh, you were right next to Caller Daddy. Interesting. <laughs> on uh, the comedy page. Yeah. It was... it's, it's like a then and now mm -hmm. kind of situation. Because I'm sure <laughs> that you guys were whores when you were younger. Yeah. And look, I don't mean that in any kind of, like, you know, you guys know me. Right. I yeah. do not sl slut shame. I love sluts. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure, appreciate sure, sure. the fact that they exist. I support sex workers, the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So young ladies out there, call her daddy. They have a very successful show. And Absolutely. the fact that I'm calling you whores is not a compliment or an insult. It just is what it is. I think they Be would yourself. agree. I think they would agree. For sure, yeah. Be yourself. Be yourself. Like if you're out there. Use your body. Uh, chugging dong like that. Yeah. Good for you. Tossing back a dong or two. Continue. Yeah. yeah. Continue. Before Carry dinner. on. But the yeah. picture, and this, by the way, it was a complete accident because our- uh, we have a, a young man who makes all of our uh, yep. photos and designs and all that stuff. He is in another country in, um, well, let's just say Asia. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't know that. Technically, you technically didn't tell Asia. me he's American, but he moved oh, to okay, he mind. moved to Asia. So uh, he does not know about the American ways and or podcasts. <laughs> we we did not know. And this is true sense. because we actually love Barstool. We love Call Our Daddy. And yeah. All that stuff. We did not know the logo. Like it was a brunette and a blonde next to each other, and it was pretty funny when we saw it today. Definitely, I, I the side by side of it was like, oh shit. Um, There's a lot of slim, sim similarities and in a the picture, lot of differences. A picture, lot of yeah, differences. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we made a joke about it and put the ten year challenge up because it, you know, those girls are like twenty two, sure. thirty two, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, yeah. It's pretty funny. It all made sense. Yes. So if your bar is still out there, or call her daddy. We actually love all you guys, and that was not, not oh, intentional. Oh, no. Yeah, we're not trying. For real. We're just fucking idiots, I guess. So. And they don't have to worry about us coming for them. Like, calm down. Two different. Calm down. Two different worlds. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, those girls are doing fine on their Yeah, own. yeah. They're not worried. Uh, they're, like, fucking I don't think they're worried. in the mm -hmm. world. So, uh, good for them. And uh, I'm proud of you guys. So, you can download Drinking Broettes on iTunes. Subscribe. Rate it. Um, Spotify. YouTube is on our channel. Um, forgive us, by the way. We're, we started a media company about a year ago. Um, so we have Drinking Bros, Drinking Bros Sports, Drinking Broettes, Ross Patterson Revolution. They are all underneath the same YouTube banner. What we've done is color-coded the back of them so that way you know the different shows. Show Obviously, it's spelled out, Drinking Broettes or Drinking Bros and Drinking Bros Sports and all that stuff. But just in case you can't read. And it'll look a little, color it. it'll look a little oblong until there's more content from all the different new shows that are Correct. coming out. Correct. It'll look a little weird, but then it'll look normal. So just relax. Yes. Everybody so relax. give us some time. Um, we're only uh, less than a year into the new company, but we're excited to give you endless content per week. That was probably one of the biggest, uh, I would say, complaints we got for, from all of this is, hey, man, I, I love this. I want more. Why can't you guys go three <laughs> hours or whatever? We could go three hours a show. However... It would be a lot funner and more interesting, in my opinion, um, to mix it up. Yeah. To have a girl's show, to have a sports show, to have yeah. a guy and a girl's show, to have yeah. all dudes. Yeah, yeah we've had uh, – I've just been reading the reviews. I think there are as many from men as women at this yeah. point. So it's yeah, it's going to be it's, – it's good. Like, I don't always just listen to dude shows. That would be boring, right? Yeah, yeah. same. Um, I don't know. Um, and there are going to be some – like I said, there are going to be some shows that you're going to be like, no, thank you. I'm good. I'll leave this for the ladies. But We're going to talk gonna for 90 minutes about our period. Yeah, yeah. about wide ons. Oh, we did do one show just all about the uh, the viscosity, the oh, the frequency, yeah. the flow. Yeah. Have you Heavy seen flow. the new? Uh, <laughs> and they're not the, the idea is not new, but it's like a cup. But it's like an the um, diva it's cup. It's a very improved version of it now. 
Yeah. So you just oh, walk around with a little fucking silicone cup full of blood. Yeah. It's no. called a diva cup, right? Yeah. yeah, and we wouldn't do that. Uh, you wouldn't? Wouldn't. Would not. I, I bet you, you Jared would rather would shove drink it. stuff up your, your clown hole than uh I just actually have it like out. to do the red tent situation, but yeah. What's that? Uh, is that what it's called? Red tents. Yeah, you're it's, talking it's to two Native dudes. It's Native American. Um, where when, oh, when you're yeah. on your no, period, you have to go. It's not Native up. American. Oh, oh. This is, is this is like ancient since the dawn he- of time. Hebrew. Oh, okay. Uh, so like in the Old Testament, Deuteronomy, actually, when in uh, Israel, Israeli villages, mm-hmm. if you were on your period, you had to go for 13 days and sleep in a village outside, or it's like a yeah. it's Ugh. a hut. A hut and you just like village. bleed it out. Dream. I yeah, know. So yeah. I just go to a luxury camper. <laughs> yeah. um, but all here's white. here's what I'm here's my question. <laughs> Are you? Is it because of the blood or the moodiness? And is the moodiness worse during period week or the days leading up to period week? Because I feel like it's the days leading up to. period Very week. smart question, and I appreciate it. So it's the days leading up. That's why it's called premenstrual syndrome. If mm. someone's PMSing, mm. it means it's the week before they're menstruating. There we go, folks. Yeah, hey, I mean, learning mind, stuff. Something like five to seven days after the period stops is when they're most fertile. In case you're trying to trap a woman with a pregnancy. Yes. Or avoid yeah. being trapped no, that's true. by a pregnancy. There you go. Either way. There, there you go. Me. It's going to have to be a really rich gal to, uh, you know. I saw a really funny meme the other day, and it said, uh, a guy who will go out and buy Plan B for you, he's a keeper. Don't take it. <laughs> <laughs> that's really it smart. It makes sense. Oh, you know what you guys could do? Definitely one I would date. If you are dating <laughs> some girl, mm. you can find out when her period is, right, and then download the... Uh, like app. glow app yeah. where yeah. they're trying to get <clears throat> pregnant and mm-hmm. then you can actually see their cycle on your phone and you'll uh, know when to not when to pull out and blast in her hair and face yes mm-hmm. yes 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 because mm-hmm. yes. there's nothing a woman loves more than combing her hair oh yeah they love washing <laughs> and drying eye. it for like hours. the eye is the most i feel sexy. like that's yeah. temporary it's probably easier to get come out of your eye than it is your hair but it burns more in the eye than it does in the hair. Yeah, yeah it, doesn't, it shouldn't burn at all in your hair. If it's burning in your hair, there's something wrong with the color. <laughs> Folks, look. Guys, this is a PSA. I'm not a scientist. Your, this is a PSA. If your semen is burning people. Especially hair. You Maybe might stop be, doing it. You might, be a, <laughs> you might be a superhero. Yeah, you might be. You might be. You wanna... that, what if that was your superpower? You ejaculated venom. Yeah, you oh. might want to get checked by so Fantastic you're trying, Four. Marvel, you're trying to stop Marvel a fucking movie. bank robbery, but you're just pounding off, and they're like, what the fuck, bro? You're like, like, let me focus. Oh, no, I'm fucking jack off, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. like, hold up a picture. <laughs> Randy Quaid is jack off, yeah. man. <laughs> 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 and like no, like grandmas or anyone can this be around him because he needs to like superhero focus. movie I want to see <laughs> Jack Off Man starring Randy Quaid. <laughs> Whoopsie, I'm about to blow. Uh, uh, not on great. my watch, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> go talk to Jared. We need to shoot this. And a fucking hole burns Shit. through a bank wall, and yeah. you just see all the money inside. Go get it, guys. <laughs> he's just jacking off as hard as he can. But he's like super tired right after, and he can't actually save anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so he just like passes out right after. He's got a sidekick. Hey, he needs those a sidekick. Ch- yeah. Those Chilean miners that got stuck that time, he could have he just blast a hole right oh, in the ground. Right in the yeah. ground, boom. Yeah. yeah. Just yep. like, hey, everybody, cover your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 really burns What's, in the you've eyes. You've got a apparently. strangle baiting noise that you do. <laughs> oh god yeah yeah jesse loves it jesse that's a real one jesse <laughs> you know do you, you know and i'm you strangle botting what do has what? anyone here ever strangle baited no i've been choked oh yeah while oh. getting banged yeah of course everybody's done that wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait right. hang on <laughs> yeah <laughs> i should have ended that sentence a couple, Sorry, by dudes? A couple um, of words yeah. before okay yeah. Well, mm-hmm. this isn't really the oh, show. Yes, no, it's is? not. But uh, welcome Sorry. again. So we and, talked uh, about periods and jack off, man. <laughs> yeah, ja- so you're jack welcome. off, man. <laughs> uh, that's really good. Actually, we need to get a logo made for jack off, man. Please. What's this superhero costume look like? It's got a. It's like a onesie, but the flap is in the front. Yeah, and it's it's just it's just Randy Quaid just <laughs> filling it out. You know, <laughs> just. or it's got like a reinforced penile sleeve. A bunch of socks yeah. everywhere. <laughs> and, a, and a tissue oh, fanny no, like pack. A, yeah, yeah, no, like a, a, a belt, box. a utility belt of socks. And then yeah. on the other yeah, side, yeah, yeah. it's like that the belt that the uh, massage therapists wear. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But on, on one side, it's tissues. On the other side, yes. it's Lotion. hand sanitizer. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's great. Jack off, man, coming to a theater near you. Quaid. Oh. Quaid on Quaid. 
if welcome you, to the fake news, kids. Subscribe to Drinking Bro Ets everywhere you possibly can. Uh, first up, the Democratic debates were last night. This is the last one. Yeah, the That's, last one before Iowa. Correct. Because um, we're, we're in game time here, kids. Yeah, we're, we're the first uh, caucus. Caucus. There, whenever I hear that word, February. I always think of Jack Black saying "cock ass." Yeah, like he used yeah, to do yeah. Tenacious D. Yep. I can't <laughs> that word. And then uh, who was it? Dana Carvey used to make a joke about the phrase "judicial system." How it's impossible to say it without sounding like a fucking hillbilly. Yeah, like judicial system. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no way to say that phrase. Caucus is one of those words where I just get like, don't say that to me. Just don't say it. Come uh, up with a new word. Exactly. It's 2020. It. You come up with a new gender every 15 minutes. You can't think of a word that sounds better than cock ass. Cock ass and you uh, sons of bitches. Quid pro quo. I'm tired oh, of hearing quid that as well. Quid pro quo. Yeah, I'm tired of hearing uh, that as well. Uh, the smoking gun. The smoking gun. Biden uh, appears to be losing all of his mental capabilities. Well, uh, this was a hard one last night. Bernie was a, in some hot water after telling Warren uh, yeah. that a woman couldn't be elected president. <laughs> and again, he was, denies saying it was hearsay. Yeah. Yes, yes. But here's the thing uh, that I don't think he's saying. He, let's let's say he said it. Everybody knows who Bernie Sanders is at this point. I very strongly doubt that he's saying that from a position where he wouldn't vote for a woman. He's saying I don't think. Like, that's more of a judgment on the American population yes. than it is a judgment yes. on... Yes, if he were to even say that, I think that's I think exactly what... It. Probably not. ...is the but, problem. But the, th- the way CNN delivered it was a little Well, they, they said that he did, so they completely shut him <laughs> down last night. Even Current, though he said, no, I didn't, they said... They were like, so did you say... They were like, yeah. How did, how did he go? So, yeah. So he was like, no, no, I didn't. I didn't do that. And then they went right to Warren and said, so when he said that, how did you yeah. <laughs> How yeah, yeah, did you yeah. feel? Um, He's okay. like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck, dude? I'm right here. Currently I'm on, right here. on Twitter, trending number six in the world, CNN is garbage. And this has been going on all day. And this is because of this. Um, because what, what the American public is saying is, hey, man, you've taken fake news to a whole new level. You're just yeah. believing what somebody said versus somebody who says they didn't say it, and you created your own narrative. Well, now Elizabeth Warren is on record saying he said it. That makes it different. Okay. Yeah. So, like, what do you – I'm not, I'm not defending CNN at all, but there is uh, something called the presumption of innocence. It's sure. Not in this country, but in some countries. Maybe. Some countries. Right, right, right. But we, uh, <laughs> we were chatting a little bit about this on uh, Ross Patterson Revolution earlier where I watched the debate, and then afterwards – um, the, the mics were dead mm. and Elizabeth Warren went over to Sanders and they were yelling mm. at each other. Yeah. And he and started she refused pointing at her. to shake his hand and shit. Yeah. And, and, was a and whole thing. vice versa. And they were like but yelling he, at each he other. He said, and it, I was trying to read lips, but he, it looked like he said, you know, I didn't say that to her. Probably. And then she threw up her hands and said something, but I couldn't, <clears throat> I couldn't see her mouth. So to, I, I hate to say this because it's almost like uh, one of those negative, it's like calling a woman a bitch for being aggressive. You know yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't particularly like that. I call women I like bitches because I think it's funny. But anyways, so uh, are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if they, know, if they, anyways, if they're cool, they do. Go ahead. Yeah. They love anyways, it uh, I feel like Elizabeth Warren is a hysterical woman. Mm-hmm. Like she seems, she's mm-hmm. she's like hysterical about things. Like, oh, well, well, blah, 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 blah. like, what the fuck did you just say? Yeah. She never answers a, a question just directly. Directly, no, it's, it's always like a big. <clears throat> story and a big outrage well i'm just like you guys and let me tell you why i was yeah luffing the spinnaker on my fucking yacht the other day like, whoa what you say? easy pocahontas can't yeah, relate. yeah you can't it. relate go back Take to the easy. tp here like lady. really you were a harvard professor for 30 years and you think you're just like everybody yeah, exactly. else, yeah. you're like everybody i don't care if you're like me or not you should be better than me if you're going to be president yeah, I don't I, want you to say the most conde- <coughs> condescending thing you can say to someone is that you're just like them, yeah. right? Yeah. Like if you if you've been a CEO for all this time or uh, a leader in government or a professor at an Ivy League school for fucking decades and you're just the same as me. That's sad. I feel like you might be a little fucked up there. Yeah. I feel like people are wasting their money going yeah. to Harvard then. Yeah. Yeah, because I should not be teaching anyone no. anything. No, 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 no. You can't even be by schools or can you? At that age, yeah. At that yeah, age, yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Um, the surprising thing <laughs> to me is on her, I was reading Elizabeth Warren's resume. The thing that was missing is how many managers she's actually seen in real life. Because um, I was wondering, you she know, has is a it's, very just, it's got to be haircut. triple dig, right? She's she's on brand. I mean, she's waiting. For, she likes those caricatures to be made of her. They're very easy. She loves right? it. Yeah, she, she loves it. She doesn't change a damn thing. But she's I, she's a less qualified Tammy Baldwin. 
Do you know who Tammy Baldwin is? No. She's a senator from uh, Wisconsin. She was a congresswoman there for years. Very liberal. Like, I'm not really into her or anything, but uh, same haircut. You can see her. Look at that. Same, yep. The same, same haircut. Suit, like a bright color and then a yep. black. Same ideology, but she's actually really fucking smart. Mm. And, and probably level-headed. Level-headed for the most yeah. part, yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's, Whereas, uh, I mean, look, Elizabeth Warren is one of those people that proves that sometimes you just have to make noise and it doesn't matter what you're saying. If I you think squawk they, enough, people will start paying attention and they're like, well, she says three, I think three out of the five that. things I care about. So that's it. They must know that because Klobuchar, who is <clears> not doing that well, right, <clears throat> probably has the best points, the best plans, but she doesn't make the most noise, right? Reading, so like you're saying here, she killed yeah. Warren and Sanders, but she didn't do it in the way that like gets people yeah. excited. People don't care about the facts. This is all theater. Exactly. All, all and Warren and Bernie are the ones that have figured that out and are leaning in. And that's just how it is. I found so. it very telling that uh, Van Jones, who is a CNN correspondent, was on air last night saying. Yeah. He straight up said that none, none of, of these candidates could beat Trump. And it felt yeah. like a cold bowl of oatmeal. Yeah. Was, and that, there, I think words. the reason he was saying that is because. Um, for, for there's two main reasons. One, all the uh, domestic economic policies, mm-hmm. they, there's, no, uh, there's no congruity between the two sides of the Democratic Party. Like Buttigieg and those guys are like, this Medicare for all shit and these uh, additional taxes you're talking about is not going to work. Like, it's just, like, show me the math. That's a real easy thing to say and a real reasonable expectation to have. You say that you can do this and here's the the fucking data for it. Show me the math and let's do it. Math is math, motherfucker. Yeah. It either works or it does not work. And the Medicare for all as proposed will not work. And he keeps saying that over and over again. Yeah. And it's getting a little tiring hearing it over and over again, but it's a point. Like, what else do you say? Yeah. Like, it, <clears throat> that, that just shows that if you're Warren or Sanders, you don't really care about the facts. You can't. Mm-mm. Because he's asking for the facts and you just won't give them. No. And you, you give them a story about yeah. someone that you met yeah. in and your travels. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and so you know that your constituency is dumb enough to just accept that and move on, which is funny because typically they're more educated than far-right conservative. Like far-left people are yes. statistically more educated than far-right people. That's true. Not in the middle. The middle is about the same, but on the edges, it's different. The other thing is every single one of these motherfuckers sounds like an idiot when it comes to foreign policy. The only guy that has any real foreign policy expertise is Biden, and he's it, it seems like he has dementia, honestly. So behind the scenes, something's going on. Yeah, behind the <laughs> scenes that that, and I'm this, I'm not even making a joke at this point. Um, behind the scenes that is that is what they're saying. Yeah, is that oh, he does okay. actually have dementia. Um, oh my god, he's just gonna ride it out for a couple of uh, fucking uh, primaries, and he'll bail. I, yes. I assume. Oh, well, okay. well, like he's got a safe face. I think he'll stay. Um, but <laughs> the interesting thing to me was he was doing an interview the other day and they said well would you run for a second term if you get elected president Uh and he would not commit to me if you're running for president and you can't say that you're willing to go two terms yeah what are you doing just to get trump out of there i mean he's 77 years old yeah my god you couldn't do by the time he got his birthday's in his his birthday's in november so by the time he got elected and inaugurated, he would be 78. Yeah. It so does would, feel a little bit like he's a puppet, right? That they're like pushing out there. He's and they put the gla- yeah. They put the glasses on. Yeah. They put the leather jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, he's fine. Weekend at Biden's. Seriously. It is. And it's uh, to me, it's sad. Like, I, I, know. I know this was one of his dreams. I know. And he's been trying forever. And uh, truthfully, his shot was in 2016. And it was Obama who told him to step down. We're going for Hillary. Yeah, he, um, that was a huge mistake, by the way. Obviously. Yeah, and then this, and then fucking uh, Obama. <laughs> I think he could have won. Still, then. hasn't endorsed him. No, at all. And it's like, hey, man, he was with you for eight years, right? The the rest of these candidates are fucking garbage. And what does Obama you, lose? What do you like, care? Yeah, fucking, what do you fucking care? Do it for your Netflix friend shows. if you're going to do it. <clears throat> um, I think I honestly think that Michelle Obama is going to run for president next time. No you, way. you mean this election or next? 2024. You think so? Yeah. She hated it. She hated it, though. I can't think of any other reason that he would be abstaining from Is it the Ukraine stuff? People. Is he, like, weary of any weird stuff that's going to come out later? It's, it doesn't matter now. He can still claim executive privilege over anything that happened during his administration. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like none of that's going to fucking matter for him. I mean, uh, let me ask you this: since we're <clears throat> since we're talking about it, I guess it was unexpected. Is there a world where Ivanka runs? At some maybe point? in ten years because of Jared Kushner. Because behind the scenes, everybody's <clears throat> like, "Dude, Kushner's a silent assassin, getting these deals done around the around the world." Yeah, he's a pretty smart guy, and Ivanka is. Uh, a very smart lady as well. Mm-hmm. It depends on how the rest of Trump's presidency goes. Like if he gets impeached or or loses, well, that's not going to happen. But. No, it won't happen. I mean, look, everybody's making a big deal because the Republicans won't just dismiss the articles of impeachment outright. Like this doesn't look right. You can't even, do that. Even you have for to at least, dinner at the Kushners. <clears throat> what's up? You have to Did even 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 with the Clinton impeachment, it took twenty one days. Yeah. It's not long. I mean, it's going to be three weeks. It'll it'll go on for three weeks, and then it seemed be longer, didn't it? Twenty one days, huh? I don't know. I was. I know. In I didn't. I had no sense of. Time. I think because that. the news is so hyped up all the time that it's like even th- this <laughs> impeachment process seems like it's going on for a year, but it hasn't. You know. Well, I mean, talk of it has been going on since before you even got fucking elected. Oh yeah, of course. So so you can tell like if it's happening before you even get elected, that's how you know for sure that it's being used as a political weapon and not for its actual intent. Right. Um, and it's, I still haven't heard anybody, whether it's <clears throat> Schumer or uh, any of those dopes in fucking Congress, respond to the fact that they all said in the late 90s that impeachment should be bipartisan, always. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it should not even be undertaken. Well, well you, know who, you know who grabbed the mic today was Nadler. Because uh, they asked Pelosi <laughs> a question. She was like, ah. Well, Nadler was on record saying that back in the day, too. Uh, 100%. Mm. So today they asked Pelosi at the press conference, um, you want witnesses from the Republicans. What mm-hmm. about Republicans giving witnesses? Can are the, are the Republicans allowed to call Hunter Biden mm-hmm. to testify? And she was like, uh, 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 "This is <laughs> this is Jerry Nadler." <laughs> I and don't so Nadler speak came English. up, and Nadler came, his explanation was so dumb that I haven't really quite heard anything like it. He said, "No, that he Hunter Biden had nothing to do with this, has no knowledge of anything of this." What? Therefore, that would the not fuck? be a witness, and any <clears throat> witness you use in any trial um, who doesn't have knowledge of what's going huh? on in the case would not be allowed to testify, or the judge would never. Oh, because they're saying it doesn't matter what the he did. The articles impeachment it's about are what abuse Trump of power did. and uh, obstruction of Congress, right? Mm-hmm. But yeah. the obstruction of Congress part was Trump not cooperating with the investigation, which is well within his right to do that. So that one will get dismissed easily. Yeah. The other part. <clears throat> Abuse of power directly relates to Biden, Hunter Biden, because that was the whole situation yeah. that sparked all this. Yeah, yeah. Like he said to in- investigate that guy because right, he was but doing I, shady shit. I think they're saying it doesn't matter what he was asking. It was how he was trying to get the information. So, right? Isn't that the whole point? Is like it you're de- getting impeached. It depends. Like if, I mean, I, I, a, I guess a that scenario would be. Where he would be allowed to do what he did because of what Biden He's did. allowed to do what he did yeah, yeah, either yeah. way. I know, I know. And he's proven right by the fact that Biden was absolutely guilty. Yeah. Oh, okay, so if that comes up... I think the up, bigger point is, at least for this round, is to expose the entire system because this whole impeachment thing is nonsense. Mm-hmm. Everybody that's ever held that position, president, has done the exact same shit that Trump does. He just doesn't hide it or apologize for it. Because he's an asshole. Let's be honest. He's a fucking asshole. So, <clears throat> which is fine. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I I'm want my saying. president to be a fucking asshole. A little bit of one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, anyways, that's what's got people so wrong. Like, how dare you do what we do in private and public? That's essentially what they're saying. Oh, okay, yeah, because yeah, Because yeah. Hunter Biden was doing exactly what the fuck Trump has been accused of doing, which is consorting with a, a foreign government to make money or mm-hmm. to influence politics or whatever the case is. Yeah. And... Joe Biden used his pol- political position directly to influence get his son getting a job, directly to influence getting a prosecutor that was involved in prosecuting his son fired yeah. from the federal government. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. I think the point of calling Hunter Biden would be to show, hey, uh, we're all a little bit guilty here. Okay. This isn't something that you impeach people for. But if fuck you're days. asking the Democrats <laughs> to agree to expose <clears throat> the system... They, they don't have to agree. They don't have no. to agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the I'm saying, like, asking Pelosi. Mitch McConnell or... can call anybody he wants. Yeah, in the yeah, scene. yeah. And if I'm Hunter saying... Biden says no, then my guess is that the next day they would hold a vote and uh, and cancel the whole thing. Right. That'd be my guess. Like yeah. if they if they said we want we subpoena Hunter Biden, he needs to show up today, and he said, yeah, I'm not doing that, then 
I feel like Republicans the very next day yeah. would say, all right, we're going to vote on this right now then. Because you guys aren't going to cooperate with us. We're just going to vote on it. Yep. Answer is no. Bam. See you yeah. later. Right. Take care. <clears throat> Good night, everyone. Uh, next up, the entire Russian government resigned. Um, when I read this, <laughs> this You're was like, wild. Huh? <laughs> this whole story is fucking crazy. Yeah. Prime Minister uh, Dmitry Medvedev and uh, his entire staff resigned, leaving... Uh, Vladimir Putin as the sole leader in all of Russia and it appears as if they did this specifically to give Putin all the power he needs to make changes to Russia's constitution um, now no, that's that he has no no, no all the that's power that's not the, the appearance they said that they did say that Medvedev said that yeah I did not hear hear that yeah so he was mm. obviously forced out then right no, he's getting he's uh, taking over the position of the director of their security council now so he's not getting pushed out ah. here's what's happening uh, just based on the research I was doing earlier. <clears throat> They're trying to couch this move as Putin making, I mean, he, he's, his stated intent is to make quote-unquote sweeping constitutional reforms, right? So what he's doing is removing a lot of the powers of the presidency, which he holds right now, mm -hmm. and putting them back into parliament, like the ability to choose the president, the ability to choose the prime minister, the ability to, uh, <clears throat> excuse not not the president, the ability to choose a prime minister, the entire cabinet, every cabinet level position except for president, mm -hmm. and the entire country is chosen right now by Putin, by the president. He has carte blanche to do whatever he wants. Okay. Right? <clears throat> Which is why Russia. Russia's Russia. Russia's Russia. Russia, Russia yeah. So the intent for this is to move that power and authority back into parliament. And at first glance, it's like, oh, that is a reform. That makes sense. The reason that he's doing it is because in 2024, he can no longer be president. And he wants to angle for a high-level position <laughs> Just keep in the parliament. Going. <laughs> so he wants to move all the power from his current position into <gasps> the new position that he's going to have so he can continue to control that country. Okay. He's so the richest smart. man in the world, by in the world, way. yeah. Uh, is there a <clears> – I didn't know there was a uh, cutoff limit of how many years you could serve This is his fourth Russia. term. And that's that's what it is in Russia. That's four. I'm surprised. I always thought that's it was just so like, well, much, when I dude. die, that's, that's when I so die. So long, bro. I mean, if he's, I don't understand why he doesn't just, uh, if he's gonna have complete control of the constitution, if he has the power to tell the prime minister and his entire cabinet to fuck off, and he's gonna, you need, you guys need to get out of here. I'm changing this. Yeah. Like, why not just extend term limits? Or exactly. Something like that? like, like yeah. no, be like, no well, one. No one on this planet thinks that Vladimir Putin all of a sudden decided to become a, a democratic person. Right. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? No one believes that. So mm -mm. why even go through this whole fucking charade? I don't know. It seems like a lot of, a lot of wasted effort. Well, after watching that Chernobyl doc, I just kind of <laughs> wrote, wrote off Russia altogether. You know? I was just like, eh, I really don't care about anything. You know? <laughs> That's the only thing? Yeah, okay. Russia's Russia. You know? Oh, That's just right. pretty much my answer for this Russia. This is just crazy and not surprising i guess no. but you just go are you fucking serious yeah that's awesome have you been yeah. there dan to russia yeah no you have any desire do you guys fuck no i don't want to go you, jesse uh to go to russia no i don't either no thank you um, I, I would like to go you know i used to want to go to st petersburg yeah because it's an older city and mm -hmm. blah 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 There's yeah cool shit there but <clears throat> uh one of my buddies joe went there not too long ago a couple years ago and he was like I mean, yeah, there's a lot of cool old buildings and shit, but it's all in disrepair. Like, everything's fucked. And a lot of the stuff got built halfway and then finished later on, like years later. So it's all weird looking and shit. It's, it, the pictures you see are beautiful. The basilica and all that bullshit and all the, uh, the gothic architecture from back then is kind of cool. But right. if you get close to it, it's like a fucking... My face. It's like a girl <laughs> in a dark... <laughs> bar <laughs> you look for, across the room you're like oh hey yeah. oh hey oh yeah, yeah, yeah. or hey like yo. a girl with big <clears throat> sunglasses walking down the street or something and then you're yeah. like oh wait that's she's peacocking what? yeah and she grabs your attention for a minute and you like then she lifts up her glasses and there's uh, only one eyeball yeah right you're like oh happens a lot and it's in the middle in russia yeah, yeah. yep like um, uh, Leela from uh, Futurama. Yeah. Yep. Happens a lot in Russia. It does. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I still haven't been to Hawaii, so I'm not even thinking about going to <laughs> Russia. Are those the two on your list? Yeah. It was. It's Russia and Hawaii, and I haven't gone to Hawaii yet. So. 
I'm going to go down the list. Yeah, 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 of course. Of you don't course. start with Russia, right? No. You end with Russia. Yeah, end with Russia. <laughs> that way you never want to go vacation yep. again. <laughs> <laughs> that way you may not come back. The other yeah. country I heard is like that is India. Like all my friends who have gone to India, so I'm like, oh my God, isn't it amazing? The architecture in Taj Mahal is beautiful. And they were like, no, it's hot. I heard India is cool. It's disgusting. sticky. And, yeah. uh, Everybody wants to go to India and then go to fucking Nepal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see mountain goats and yep. hike and shit. Like, fuck that, man. Look, if that was cool, I'd already be there. <laughs> Wherever I am is where you need to be. You understand, folks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck out. Uh, and you can Not go to climbing. danstraveltips.org. <laughs> yeah. Wherever I am is and, the cool place. Uh, oh, I was thinking about, out. speaking of that, I was thinking about uh, <laughs> what if I was a motivational speaker Ooh. for high schools? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Can you imagine that? No. Um, that actually might be the best idea mm-hmm. I've heard. Like, look, they're trying to teach you about uh, literature, which is fine, but you can read that shit at home. Yeah, yeah. They're that trying to you teach you about history. On. You've got the internet. All mm-hmm. that stuff exists. Already. Stop it. Quit it. Has yeah. anybody in this school ever taught you how to bounce a checkbook or manage your finances or do your taxes or any of this stuff? No? Or get roofies. I know. Drop so out like, of high school yeah. as soon as you can because this is fucking a waste of time. You can drop out of high school and immediately take your GED mm-hmm. and then go to any college you want. Like, colleges is will that accept true, that. Though? Yes, it is absolutely true. Go to any college you want. If you, well, if you can, if you if take your grades the, are good enough. Yeah, if your grades are good, like, make A's, do your work your first two years, and yeah. as soon as you turn 17, take the GED, leave that stupid bullshit. Get out of here. This, is, this whole building is stupid. And everybody in it's stupid. All these high school teachers. Are failures. Otherwise, they would be doing the shit that they're talking about. Oh God! Oh, God. oh boy! Is that, oh, boy. This is is that not okay? Wait. No, Want to go I, ahead and uh-huh. uh, preface actually, this by saying Jesse and I do not yeah, agree with don't. this statement whatsoever. We love high school teachers. No, there I do, are some I things that are. No, I love teachers. There's some things that you're absolutely. I'm liking all of that. Yeah. I yeah. didn't learn any of that fucking bullshit. I didn't bullshit. learn shit in high school. No, nothing that I needed. Really? If, you, if you can no, take really. the SAT, and get SAT or S- ACT and get a good score and just get your GED and leave high school early, you can get into pretty much any school you want. The only thing it teaches you is to go to do things that you don't want to do to the very end, right? It's literally Which the is an only important thing. skill to it learn, is. but you can do that in college as well. Like You don't need to right. do that fucking over and over and over again. It becomes unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically... All I got from it. And to be was clear, like, I do like life. teachers. Yeah, yeah, I know. Love teachers. I think they the should be ones. paid a lot more. Yeah. The hot ones. Oh, uh, sorry. That's distracting. I'm trying to do work here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Put your old titties away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely away. They're I never just out. I think that it's all a fucking huge waste of time. The only commodity we have that is irreplaceable is time, right? Right. I can get more money. I can go find more food. I can beat you guys to death and take your children from you and just have my own children then please yeah uh carry on yeah, I, actually you can skip yeah the you want to deal with a lactose them. intolerant kid uh, go you know, ahead honestly if i skip the first part it written wouldn't really be the same ah you need like, it if i don't have you need it i get it your warm blood still on my hands sure i'm not gonna want anything to do with those children yeah yeah because i know somewhere I, there's like what if you have more kids afterwards then I have to come get those too. Sure. Because I'm not letting you guys have kids. There's no way. <laughs> obviously. Not after I've taken the first two. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want us to keep procreating. That it's like sense. it's like Debo in the neighborhood. Yeah. Makes sense. Like if makes you steal sense. somebody's bike and then they show up the next day with a new bike, fuck you. That's yeah. my bike, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and all future bikes. <laughs> and all future bikes. <laughs> all future ghost bikes. Ghost bed. What the fuck are we talking about? I yeah, have no we're, idea. we should swap on over to ghost <laughs> bed. We right nothing, from teachers to nothing all the bikes. Warm blood uh, on your hands like a, a murder in a ghost bed, does it? Yeah. <laughs> Period stealing. blood and jack off. Murder, man. Yeah. kidnapping, jack off bike man. stealing. Yeah. I bet jack off man sleeps on a ghost bed. I bet he does. He <laughs> Randy Quaid, good night actually, sleep. Randy Quaid probably sleeps outside. Let's Quaid. Be honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's probably Quaid sleeping outside. The machine. How, how oh, many yeah. times do you think Randy Quaid has woken up outside, not camping? I think the, the oh. better question would be how, how many times has he woken up inside? Inside, <laughs> inside would be an easier question. Home. we got to get Randy on the show. We, oh I'd gosh, love to. That would be amazing. <laughs> be the best. You um, could put your hat on next oh, to him. That would be the best. Uh, if anybody knows Randy Quaid, hit us up at Drinking Bros <laughs> Podcast <laughs> Facebook page. <laughs> um, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress. They get half off adjustable bases right now till the end of the month. That is a Martin Luther King Day Junior special. Martin the Junior Luther. is supposed to go before Day. Martin Luther. Um, look, King. we all Day love Martin Junior. Luther King. We all do. We all love the King. 
Um, God, he was a poon hound, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was. Oof. He was banging whores all over the place. All Slaying over ass. the place as he should. But if you, Orgies? how can Orgies you not though? Like part if you walk into a room and literally everyone is in awe of you all the time, that's got to fuck with your head a little bit. It uh, fucks not really. with my head a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with you're it. You're good? Yeah, Why don't you go right. back to the new guy? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what is that mean? The Sarah yeah. Williams. Sarah Williams. Worst fan of the year Worst award. Worst fan of the year award, yeah. The Sarah <laughs> Williams go award. Back go back to the new guy. If you, don't, if you guys don't watch the sports show, the by the way, we had a fucking... <laughs> that was the best comment. We had this I was... complete asshole lady in Drink Your Bill Sports who would not shut the fuck up. She was saying the meanest shit. For no reason. <laughs> for, and it turned out, here's the thing, for years, Dan found, found an old message on my page yeah. from her <laughs> that just says, like when the Falcons lost the Super Bowl, said, yeah, get that perm, bitch, or something yeah. like that. Oh, God. Like, she's just really <laughs> it's aggressive. It's been goddamn years now. Here's yeah. the fucking thing. So after that show, we get off the air, and I'd, I, like, I've, I'll friend anybody pretty much. You yeah. Know? Just click the fucking thing. But yeah. it, it maxes out at 5,000. It turns out she, she had friended me at some point. And I, I was like, what the fuck? the fuck is going on here people i hate i don't friend yeah i just don't go out of my way yeah but that's the rational way of thinking and a lot of people don't but go back to the new guy was the most confusing amazing i laughed horrible comment i've ever heard and i was like i'm i like it i I laughed forever and i told i told dan i go uh, because you and i had a discussion about it i'm like uh don't tempt ross he would it yeah. wouldn't suck. Oh, that's what I said. I said, if you were to tell ask Ross right now, <laughs> you gave him a choice of going back to the new guy or staying in this time with his wife and kids, I know what he would answer. I'm not yeah. going to say it, Let but I know what he would answer. Let me go back in time. Let me go back in time. Ban it. Yeah. Fucking and Mike, you just I, poof, you're gone. I'm here by myself with Michael the kids. Michael J. Fox pre-parks. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. With the fucking vest on? Yes. In the Toyota truck? MJ Fox pre parks. <laughs> Come on, dude. Calm down. Come on. What? He looked great. He's fucking awesome. M- I mean, he was a tiny man, but you know. MJ in the Fox pre parks. I wonder what. <laughs> do you think? Go back to the new guy. What? <laughs> do you think uh, Parkinson's made him better or worse <laughs> at sex? Be- oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, ghostbed.com <laughs> forward slash drinking bros is where you can go to get it. the I finest mattress on the planet. <laughs> if you're military first responder, you get an extra 15% off. Um, get that adjustable base so that bed doesn't shake. Oh, God. Like, like what? MJ Fox. I, like fuck Puerto you, Rico? I had to say it. I um, to say it. He I it's get, half off now. Huh? What, the beds? The base, which the is base, oh, twenty five percent or half. Fuck, I think is that the deal there. right now? Yeah, yeah let's see. it's amazing. Uh, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which I thought the twenty five percent off everything was really good, but for the adjustable base, which is expensive, dude. It's crazy. really expensive. Fifty percent off the matching adjustable base and a total of three seventy off entirely. Like you, you save three hundred for the whole fucking bucks. package. Yeah. Yeah, if How you bundle that money? with How something. Money it's a yeah. lot of money. Well, I mean, with the, with the bed. Yeah. They're, They're amazing. Obviously. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. <clears throat> Next up, an 86-year-old man who robbed a bank is pulled over one mile away from the bank. <laughs> uh, Gilbert cool, Ware of Greenville, South Carolina, which I believe is your hometown. Correct, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, proud of you. Yeah. Um, was we, easily we... captured Monday in South Carolina after he repeatedly drove... Too cautiously to make the necessary <laughs> fast, quote unquote, what getaway. What fucking doing? A masked male, uh, later identified as Gilbert Paul Ware, 86, entered a Greenville bank, presented a firearm, and demanded money from employees uh, per a bank of uh, Bank of America. Yeah. Good for him. He actually fired the weapon inside the bank, too, which is a mandatory 25 to life, I think. Shoot for the stars. Yeah. I mean, you're 86 years old. Is that? What is that? Another six months? I mean, Does honestly, six months un- in prison conditions, he's not going to live very long, right? No. No. But like no. bucket list type stuff? Like Always wanted to, to rob a bank, maybe, guys. Maybe. Gosh, and like why not? get away? If I would. Not. If you're lonely. I would. If you're lonely too, and you have no one to talk to, no one to hang out with, like, <sighs> do you go to jail at 86 and be like, eh, fuck it? It's better than going to a, I, I think being in prison is probably better than a retirement home. Right. Yeah. Because at least people are younger. and you're, They're younger you know. and interesting. The only thing that looks like it really sucks it's is the rape thing? to die there. Oh, really? Why? What happens? They just like <laughs> their hospice there is 
probably the most depressing thing I've ever seen. And I think in my the other life. inmates get a couple of weeks with you after you die before your body gets incinerated. Or All whatever kinds of shit, dude. Yeah. What? You they, get- <laughs> they fill you full of candy and hang you from the ceiling and just hit you with baseball. Uh, no, wow. <laughs> but you are being taken care of by all inmates, and like it just is nobody's there. I, I don't know. Yeah, but the, older the, the older care. dudes in jail get a lot of respect too, though. Yeah, like it's just part of the. They do, but the hospice there. is completely separate from everything. So once you finally go <clears> there, <throat> just kind of seems like. Yikes! I would. Yeah. I like this though. I'm proud of this guy. Oh, for I'm sure. I'm glad that he didn't Me hurt too. anybody. I think yeah. it's super funny that he was <laughs> driving super either slow, too, either too old or too polite to get away properly. Oh. It's one of those yeah. two things, and it made me wonder: what if we shot the movie Heat with all elderly people? Oh, that'd be so like, fucking great! Just that middle part, the whole fucking robbery scene. Yeah, we could probably oh, do it as a play. Where Tom, for pretty where, cheap. Uh, yeah, we might be able to like yeah. a musical. He, if you did that, man, that shootout. Would not Tom be Sizemore and fucking uh, Val Kilmer shooting the M16 through the windshield of the car. Dennis Haysburg getting shot in the fucking head. The hey, whole they're, thing. they're close to being that the age whole now. Thing. They are, yeah. They, yeah. We could just redo it now. Yeah. Did remake. you see oh. the part of uh, the Irishman where Bobby De Niro was kicking the guy on the ground? Yeah. Because, like, come on, man. Yeah. That's not happening. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I know. Come on. I know. Bobby. 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 Fucking suck. Um. Yeah, man. Wait, I'm, did look, you like that movie or not? Yeah, it was great. Oh. Do, do they give this guy twenty five years? What do you think happens here? Uh, you no. plea out of this. You can't. It's hard to plea when you fire a, fire a gun Full inside the building. It. Yeah, like that. Usually, I don't know about South Carolina. I don't know the law there, but federal bank bank robberies are federal crimes, and I believe firing a gun inside like carries mandatory minimums, mm. and uh, also it determines where you get sent. Like, you're not going to get sent to some soft prison after firing a gun in a bank. You get sent to max security places. Yeah. His age is going to play a factor. Yeah. Poof. So who I, knows? I, I'd just love to have him on the show just to see why he did it. I just want that answer. <sighs> I can find his attorney. I'm guessing it's a uh, public defender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, if the guy's robbing the right? bank at 86, he's probably not loaded. He's not loaded. I yeah. doubt fucking Bezos is going to be robbing banks or anytime soon. Yeah. Just for the hell of it. Like, Wouldn't well, that be great if I he I got was $180 super billion. Rich, Let's fucking do and this. And he just yeah. wanted to do it. That'd be that a way to go out. That would be a great story. It'd be a great story. He's like, I have so much. Like, he hires the best, most high powered attorney. He's like, I just wanted to do it. Like, I'm going to die. Whoever, I just wanted uh, to fucking rob a bank, you know? Maybe reanimate uh, Kardashian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. the defense team. Yeah, and yeah, F. Lee yeah. Bailey and all those guys. I yeah, put a hologram of uh, Kardashian in the courtroom. And Johnny Carson. Uh, Cochran? Yes. Yeah. yeah because, I mean, both Dude, are dead, Carson but but would be fun in there, Car- too, huh? Carson <laughs> could have them as a guest on his show. <laughs> but both It'd be are fun dead. to have Carson in there, too. So... <laughs> Uh, it would be no. funnier if it was Johnny Carson and they were like, I yeah. think you meant to bring oh, Johnny Cochran. <laughs> but I'll take it. Fuck. But we're here. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're here. here. He just walks away. They're like, don't do let it. him get away. He's, yeah. like, he's reanimated. <laughs> um, he's, he's guessing, you know, with <laughs> he's the a, thing. Why is, uh, that's why he did it. Uh, next up, we got BlackRifleCoffee.com. Uh, BRCC for that little pie hole of yours. Um, keeps you on and popping, Jabes, every morning. Mm-hmm. Oh your, yes. Uh, yes, your pie hole is your, is your mouth. Yeah, oh. your mouth hole. That's where you put coffee. Typically, that's not your where coffee I put hole. pie. But yeah, <laughs> um, some people put coffee up their butt. Do you know that? Yes, like an espresso enema or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's like a colonic. It's supposed to big clean in you Colombia. Up. So I've heard. I know. Yeah. I know a woman who used to do it like once a month. I'm like, really? Why? And what, what? were the the benefits were that she had the cleanest, most caffeinated butthole in all of America. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't fucking know. Yeah. And I know and maybe Black like gives you coffee. a jolt too. Yeah, they're they're selling uh, <laughs> stirrups right now um, on their website. If you go to oh, blackrifecoffee.com in their merch. In yeah, their gear? so you can just do it yourself from home. Oh, okay, cool. Um, all you need is a um, uh, one of those high chairs from your baby. Go mm-hmm. ahead and take the front off, and then pop your legs up the stirrups, hook right into the table, and you can just do it right there at the table. Yep. So, uh, feel free. Patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> Go to blackriflecoffee.com today. Sign up for their subscription of the month club. They got a ton of new blends, man, and everybody's freaking out about uh, uh, all the new blends there. 
Because yeah. they're they've fucking got some, they got, finding like Ethiopian beans and all kinds of crazy. They're doing shit one a month, like if you join the uh, exclusive coffee club. So there's a regular coffee club where the standard coffees, just black, aka calf, all that stuff will show up once a month, mm-hmm. or how, whatever your frequency mm-hmm. is. It could be seven days, fourteen, twenty one, thirty, forty five. I do or twice some shit. a month, personally. Yeah, and you can get one to four bags for each one of those deliveries. Yep. The exclusive coffee club, I think, is just one bag a month, but it's a very I'm not, I'm not even sure how much it costs, but you can use Drinking Bros 20 to get a discount on that shit. I think it's uh, <clears throat> one bag a month, and it's whatever specialty blend Evan or whomever has come up with for that month. So it's like Panamanian geishas, Ethiopian yogurt chef. There's all kinds of different stuff. And they've curated it? and <clears throat> like Yeah. Yeah, I got the Ethiopian one, and there was like, a finger yeah. in it. Oh, uh, good. From a, from a child. Was there so. a diamond on that, or is it? No, a diamond was missing. It mm. looked like the bag had been dug through. If I buy a diamond, there better be a certificate of authenticity with a child's finger stapled to that piece of paper. In there, yeah, for a little fingerprint. Because otherwise, what's the fucking point? What's, sure. what's a diamond if it's not wrapped in blood? Yeah. Uh, go to blackriflecoffee.com. Use the promo code drinking 20 <laughs> Is it Drinking Bros 20 or Drinking 20 I think it's Drinking Bros 20. 20. Drinking Bros 20 for 20% off. Um, not only do you get the finest coffee in the world, but uh, they have some of the best apparel. Everybody loves yeah, they have their shit. Stuff. Everybody's wearing it everywhere. Uh, next up, terrified residents flee homes as crazed gang of 400 monkeys raid village. Sounds like a sexual nightmare I had last <laughs> night. Uh, monkeys from the Indian village of uh, Neris Piram have been terrorizing villagers, raiding homes, and forcing many to flee. I'm just thinking of the future here. Um, aren't Chinese scientists putting human faces on monkeys? Yeah, you talked about that I, on the I sports talked show about the other this, day, right? And it's like, so if they're going to start terrorizing villages <sighs> and things like that, we might as well go full Planet of the Apes and uh, strap up now. It's all coming. Like, the next story is even worse than this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like this whole everybody fucking around. We've, how many movies do we have to make about dystopian futures? that we have created for ourselves before people will stop fucking doing stupid shit. It, it's not, it's not going to It happen. seems like it, it wasn't a fucking recipe, motherfucker. Yeah. It was a warning. Yeah. Stop with the shit. It's not. It's going to get worse. <laughs> it was a fucking recipe. So much worse. And if one more <clears throat> device is asking to talk to me or hear my thoughts and all that shit, like that's another part of it where it's just like, fuck man, you're just learning everything about my life so you can come back and kill me in my sleep. The eye movement stuff that some of the digital or the mobile technology is doing now. Yeah. Like, oh, you can just control the screen with your eyes. Like, fuck that, dude. My, what, what's, what am I doing with my hands at that point? Yeah, exactly. Like, my hands are fine. They work fine. Are we assuming in the future we're not going to have hands? Are we just going to be sedated just like this? Uh, I think you have to not. I think the rule is you should not have hands to use that. Or you could, should be like. I agree. I mean, if you're paralyzed, Parapoli- yeah, then that's, paralyzed, that's a great like, piece of technology. But absolutely. don't integrate it into everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if you're a, a handy, capable person, um, come on, man. Mm. Right? If you're capable, if you have forearms and legs, you should be able to press a fucking remote. Handy, capable? Did I, did I misuse no. that word? Handy, capable yeah. is, handy, capable is not what you think it is. Ah. Yeah. He it's thought it was him. Not the brightest. Yeah, I thought it was me. <laughs> I thought it was me on that one. Well, so, you are. Go ahead and rephrase capable. that. If you're a normal <laughs> human with two arms and legs. Fucking idiot. Yeah. You should definitely not be able to use that blinking thing. <laughs> That's fucked did up. Did you just think? I did. I did think that. Jesse so you thought it was handicapped, and then everyone else is handicapped. capable. capable? Yeah. You think I people... thought that was the. I thought that was the the quote that uh, handicaps call us. Kind of no. like how Asians call, they call us, us round us, eyes. They call us norm, normies. normies. Do they really? As they sh- yeah. Normies right? is what it's called. I don't know. I made that up. Oh fuck you guys do. <laughs> <laughs> they should. They call us leg walkers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leg walkers. <laughs> is that Fuck. what is that what Derek has been calling me behind my back? Yeah, like, yeah, he's hey, been calling you a dirty little leg walker, leg walker. for ten yeah. goddamn years. You <laughs> piece of shit. We're gonna try to get Derek on the show this weekend, by the yeah. way. Uh, but yeah, uh, no, I fuck. I thought that was the where they were making fun of us. It's no. not right, huh? <clears throat> no, man. This well, is all crazy. I apologize. Go into the next story because it ties into this one. I will. Um, with the mad scientist bullshit, scientists have now used uh, stem cells from frogs to build the first living robots. This is Why? basically How? Terminator at this point. It's a cybernetic organism. That yeah. is exactly Terminator. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are we doing? Why are they doing that? Again, it's not a recipe. It wasn't a guide. It was a fucking warning, bitch. Yeah. Make me the liquid cop. Wait, that's RoboCop. Robert Patrick? Yeah. yeah we've had he was him on, on the show. show. 
Yeah. Was that RoboCop or was it he Terminator? Was, no, it was too. Terminator. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the one I want. <laughs> yeah. Um, Make those, right? Well, we're, we're going to make anything. We're close. We're all, no, we're cl- this is the whole thing. So We're close to that. These particular robots are very small, but you know, like the technology is going to grow. That's how it works. Mm. You know? And the way they do this is even more frightening. So here's what they did. <clears throat> they built this computer that is what they refer to as an evolutionary algorithm computer, which means they can put an idea for a living being of some sort and put it in our world Mm -hmm. and then simulate millions of years of evolution to see how it would learn to walk, how it would learn to not learn as, as reductive and bad. If you don't understand evolution, just look it up because learning is not what it does. It's random mutation and natural selection, but it randomly mutates it in every way you can think of and puts it in our environment and sees how it learns to run and walk and eat and all this other bullshit. And it takes the best models of it. And then what they did was they took, cells from frog embryos stem cells and essentially 3d printed a living creature into a robot yeah what the fuck dude it, it's something that's going to learn why? at a thousand times faster than we do yeah so that means it's gonna it's not it's not the physical part that's a problem it's when it becomes aware and it starts analyzing risk because that's the first thing that a sentient creature does it's like oh i exist existence is what i do Mm -hmm. i need to continue to exist yeah right then i need to mate and make sure my offspring continue to exist how do you do that by protecting yourself and at what point does protecting yourself turn into a best defense is a good offense situation pretty goddamn fast yeah and they will advance so quickly that we will at some point seem like ants to them whether size comes into play or not it'll be mentally and socially our advancement will seem like they're cavemen fuck these guys right and they will annihilate us or they will enslave us it's one of the two like there's there's no option where they become like Like, superheroes or fucking super nice people like that doesn't exist that doesn't exist just look at maslov's hierarchy of needs they're gonna square themselves away at our peril the end and by when by the end, I mean that is the end of humanity. I agree, but how long do you think this takes? <sighs> Fifty years. I think uh, it would be a lot cooler if they did it with turtles instead. Same. It'd be great because very slow. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Whoa! I wasn't thinking about the slowness. Oh, you were thinking about the, the mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage okay. Mutant Ninja Turtles. I would be okay getting slaughtered by then. I'm not okay with some frog. Wearing a spacesuit, fucking shoot me in the face. Yeah, that'd be weird, right? But if Michelangelo did a fucking backflip off the top of a building, landed on a shell, bounced up, cut my goddamn head off. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. It's dope as fuck, man. Yeah, Look, impressive. if we're going to go out and we clearly are, let's do it in a way that's at least memorable. Yeah. So that's what I say. It's not just get annihilated. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I, th- I think uh, we're, <clears throat> we're around 50 years. I'll, we'll be gone, but it'll be getting close. By the way, they've created a new species. That's what this is. They, they took... A theoretical model, an algorithm that does evolution for something that, like, all the basic concepts of life, like the ability to move, the ability to, to eat, the ability to breathe, the ability to think. But and wha- they, they made a new one and printed it. Mm-hmm. What are they saying is why? I have no fucking idea. They're not saying, like, what this is going <clears throat> in their minds. Well, what here's it is for and what cyber, it is going to benefit. It's all bullshit. Cy- cybernetics are like if if we're ever going to have a a truly robotic arm replacement or oh, torso okay. or le- right. like a full set of legs, mm-hmm. it's going to have to be partly uh, uh, like living tissue. Okay. Otherwise, it, it, our body will reject it over time. So that's what they're saying they're doing it. For. I'm sure that's what it is because okay. that's what it's always been. Okay. But Where they're like, we're doing man. it to like help humans. It's always everything is always, I, and I'm sure these people are doing it with the best intentions. But, but if you watch a goddamn movie, bro, Jurassic Park yeah. alone. Yeah, <sighs> nah, we're, look, we're there. there blooms. No, they're Gold hey, they're bloom. by the way, they're not the dinosaur part. No, I, they're I doing the dinosaur part though as we speak. So they're taking <clears throat> that's cool DNA though. from old animals and making you know woolly <laughs> yeah, mammoths cool. again and shit like that. <laughs> it's cool until they show up in your in your backyard. Yeah, but I've always a grump. If gold booms there, I, I want to see uh, a shark with pit bull legs. You're not that far off. That's what I want to see. Yeah, you're not that, that far off. They can both 
breathe. Oh God, terrifying. That can yeah. breathe. Yeah. Under, that can <laughs> breathe. <laughs> that can breathe underwater and on land. Yeah. That is so terrifying. Close, it just like comes no, right out of the water onto you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This thing like is like that. <laughs> like there's no more. I go down to the ocean sometimes and just stand at the edge and yell at sharks. Like, yeah, fuck you, shark. Can't yeah. get me. Yeah. <laughs> They, they remember. It was a. By the way, there was a shark attack here in North Carolina. Yeah, there um, were four last year. Ago. Now there's been one this year already. Yeah, because yeah, the water's warm. Uh, look, you got to protect yourself out there. No better way to protect yourself than ExpressVPN.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Protect your digital butthole. Protect that digital butthole. Uh, it's an app that runs seamlessly in the background of your iPhones, uh, soft tops, hard tops, no desktops, uh, laptops, uh, iPads, all of it. All of your stuff. All of it. All like of all your persons. Yeah. And uh, look, it'll protect you from cyber attacks. Um, people trying to fucking take your bank statements, all you know, passwords, all that other shit. Also, though, the cool element of this is if you do work at a place where they have firewalls set up, this will pierce those and you'll be able to watch porn at work. Because everybody likes to have a nice six inch from Jersey Mike's and then mm-hmm. have a nice jack off sesh. So. Oh, is that true? Especially jack off, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he yeah. well, but so what does he do then when he just wants to like make love, have some fun? Yeah, uh, he every holds woman he fucks, I guess, dies. Dies, dies yeah, okay. and that's part of his sadness. Because these are things that you guys need to work out. Before. Yeah, um, but you guys at home need to work out uh, protecting that digital butthole. Go to expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros today. It's seven bucks a month. It runs seamlessly in the background. All this shit and keeps you protected. I don't know. We've had it for what two years now at this yeah. point. Um, <clears throat> it's just something that you have to have. If at you're a drinking point, bro and yeah. you use this URL, yeah. uh, expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros, you get you sign up for a year, you get three free months. So really, you're just knocking that shit down to seventy bucks. Um, it's great. Yep, it's great. How do you think? Uh, how do you think a gay shark would bite someone? Um, probably the same. Think probably so? the same. Let's we'll start with the ass first, but. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We're offending everyone today, Jesse. Jesse, stop reading and then respond to my yeah. question. Oh, sorry. She's reading the news. <clears throat> That's a change. Yeah, stop it reading. Is. Okay, so what? How do you think a gay shark would bite someone? Ugh. Thought you guys were talking. I'm going back to reading. <laughs> do you think it would use one of its fins to brush your hair back first or anything? <laughs> Maybe. How a gay shark would bite you? Yeah. yeah. I just From I really behind. I really wanted you to see you. Do, do something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm I'm saying from behind on this one. Um, it wouldn't me. be like yeah, but we're it's all millennial stuff now. Everybody eats ass, so that's not really. I don't know if you could really say that. No, <laughs> you can't. Um, I, look, uh, fuck, dude. It, Speaking of eating ass, yeah, Mandy Patinkin. Do you know who that is? Oh yeah. Does oh, everybody yes. know Mandy? Uh, mm-hmm. the Candy Mandy. Candy Mandy. A lot of of it. He was Indigo a fucking Montoya? Broadway. Yes. Everybody, people either know him from Homeland or from yeah. Yeah. Uh, Princess Bride. Bride, but right. he's, like, he's a great actor. He is a great actor, but he spent most of his time on Broadway. Like yep. he's a he's a yeah. He has a Hebrew actor. album that's really good. Like a songs. Mm-hmm. Is it true? Yeah, he does Hebrew covers of all these songs. Of Hebrew covers of just songs. like yeah, like, like Post Malone's rock star. No, not quite that, but I like where I would, your head's at. I would at. love to hear an entire Post Malone album in Yiddish. How, can you imagine that? Yeah, I heard uh, one the other day in Spanish. It was pretty funny. That would be fucking great. That'd be really good, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yiddish would be super funny, though, yeah. because there's so much like gargling or whatever the fuck. I heard is. this story about Patankin, by the way. Um, he was talking about Trump. He says he wants it both ways with the intelligence community to support the findings he likes and then ignores the ones he doesn't. Well, welcome to the world, asshole. <laughs> yeah, like every, that's, that's again, every this is something that Trump, like all of a sudden everybody's decided to call Trump out for everything that every president Person ever has does? done. Has done yeah. 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 Like give me a fucking break. By the way, Mandy, you're not actually in the CIA. That's a that's a TV oh, show. Oh, yeah, so he's getting a little bit Can you imagine that? Delusional. Dude? Yeah. Can you imagine? It's like uh, Will Smith played a doctor in that CTE and concussion. Mm-hmm. Do you think he's like... On the weekends, just going downtown and giving people medical advice. Shut the fuck up, no. Manny Patinkin, you stupid bitch. Uh, the, other, the other part about it is when you have a, a female first name like Mandy. Yeah. 
who are you to judge anybody? At point? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're an actor, and at no if point you in your career just, did you want to change you your first name from Mandy. <laughs> and not because they always say it with his last name. Hey, Mandy. Yeah. yeah. Shut yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. up. Yeah. But if you People say will be like, just, whoa, you cannot wait, speak to your wife like wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, it's Mandy Patinkin. No, it's yeah. Mandy Patinkin. <laughs> oh, all right. Shit. Um, I never think of it because you always say it together. Yeah. I wonder what he feels when he hears uh, the song, Mandy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, everybody feels something. <laughs> if you don't, you're dead inside. Oh, Mandy. <laughs> Isn't that song about murder or some shit? No, highly doubtful. It should be. Who sings Mandy? Uh, Barry Jamie? Manilow? Yeah, it's Barry Manilow. Jamie, I wanted to know if you knew. No, you're not a Manilow guy, huh? I'm a Fanilow. <laughs> oh. oh hi yeah, I'm part of the fan club. Well, we're going to be in Vegas. He probably is going to be around. Oh, man. Is he alive? Is yeah. he uh, yes. Yes, I'm going to go with yes. Me, yeah. He looks Something. a lot like Roy. Siegfried and Roy. Yeah. 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 Is Roy the alive one or the other one that got eaten? I think the they're both They're alive. both alive. One, one just got just, really hurt. Yeah, one okay. of them doesn't have a face anymore. Or a uh, butt. What? Depending on if the tiger was gay, we don't know. Correct. Yeah, we're yeah. not really sure. <laughs> Still don't know. <laughs> it, it bit something. <laughs> Still don't know, Mandy. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mandy. Oh, Mandy. Uh, next up, we got KillCliffCBD.com. My faves. This is it. This, you want to talk about the best technology <clears throat> ever? We should have stopped after this. We done it at this point. I CBD, you mean? Yes, KillCliffCBD.com. Just this particular drink. Yes, we should have stopped technology altogether after this. They did it. 25 milligrams of CBD in each can. Um, the grape is the goddamn best. Um, they got orange kush, yep. uh, grape, and then the mango, uh, which is Dan's personal fave. It is, yeah. I don't think there's a, there isn't a better, there isn't even a, an RTD, like a ready-to-drink CBD and market that's anywhere even close to this. We've it's, tried all of them. All of them. Because we yes. were looking for a CBD sponsor because we both use it. Correct. And we're like, hey, we're going to try all these and pick the best one. Like, we didn't care about the money or any of that shit. Like, we, we don't, obviously we care about the money because we want sponsors in the show, but we picked them because they were the best. Well, and it's, and it's Kill Cliff. So it's a brand yeah. you can trust. <clears throat> On the back of it, it says, look, there is no THC in here, so you won't test for it if you have a drug test or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, and there's 25 milligrams in each can. It tastes amazing, and that mm -hmm. was one of the biggest issues we had with uh, the drinkables for CBD was yeah. <laughs> people hadn't figured out the flavors. Um, Kill Cliff has knocked it out of the park, and these fucking things are flying off the goddamn shelves. Go to KillCliffCBD.com today. Order a case. You get 20% off with the promo code Drinking Bros, and you get free shipping. It knocks it down to like three ninety a can. You could buy a can of Monster or an entire can of fucking CBD. There is no better late night drink or after workout drink than this correct i'm gonna talk about being chilled the fuck out man i love it um big fan of this i've yep. got <clears throat> cases at home i was at my dad's house and he's got it so i drank some with them on saturday i was just like yo man fucking pipe back and relax and have a fucking cbd you drank Watch some with, with grandma grandpa did, did they have some they did they had it in the fridge uh, my dad bought two cases actually and he was just like, hey, man. Well, he's like, nice. they're starting to come around. Because he's hey, like, dude, I like it. I he's think, 67. And he's yeah. just like, dude, I got a lot of aches and pains. People must like, get it at this point, right? Yeah. But it's not fucking. It's not taboo anymore. Yeah. So, I, and then, you know, look, it's Kill Cliff. So, obviously, it's a brand you trust. They were in range 15 and all that shit. So, go to KillCliffCBD.com today. Promo code Drinking Bros, 20% off and free shipping. Next up, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Blames the downing of the Ukraine jets on U.S. escalation. Um, he's got to be this this week's get fucked, right? Yeah, I'm he's, assuming for you. He's this guy. I he swear to God, is. dude. I mean, he. You could pretty much pick anything he says during a yeah. given week. Uh huh. <clears throat> and it's not even really because of his politics. It's just because he's a giant fucking pussy. Yeah. It's almost like how you know he mean? says it. It's not necessarily. Yeah, I, and he wears it's like, like hey, I'm, this is guys. no lie. By the way, in his press conference after this happened, he <clears> was wearing <throat> eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Okay, I fucking saw it. And well, he's been in movies. Uh -uh. Yes, and and it's a trick. Like Johnny Depp does it a lot. There's a lot of people who do it because if you have really small eyes, it'll bring them out and make them pop. Obviously, and I fucking saw it. Go back and watch. Oh, it. I know it. Go back yeah. and watch that. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> he's wearing eyeliner, and it's just like, hey, bro. You're a prime minister. Nobody, yeah. You're not a f little fuckboy model that is down in Miami for, you know, EDC getting ready to charge up on some fucking blue Ferraris and get hammered by a fucking gang of dudes. 
You're not you're an actual Here, prime minister of a so country. So here's what he said, and and keep in mind. So he was asked about who was responsible for all those Canadians getting killed on the Ukrainian plane that Iran accidentally shot down. Yeah. And he said this. He said, I think if there were no tensions, if there was no escalation recently in the region, those Canadians would be right now home with their families. Like, you got to be fucking I kidding mean, me, dude. Iran probably, almost certainly, intentionally shot down that plane as it was leaving under the cover of this fake attack that they were doing on the U.S., like they intentionally shot down what is probably, as we discussed with Hamity, either spies or defectors, one of the two. Yeah. That they I, murdered and murdered all these people. And his reaction to that is like, well, if America wasn't fucking blah, 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 get fucked, asshole. And the other thing that Hamity said was that it was an accident <laughs> because they were nervous, you know, that, that it was U.S. coming yeah. to attack them and they blew the plane out of the right. sky, right? <laughs> if you're Justin Trudeau and you lost 63 Canadians, mm-hmm. why aren't you sending bombs over there to Iran? Yeah. Because that's who actually shot down the fucking plane. Well, that's the thing. He's too big of a pussy to respond militarily. Yeah. So his response is that. It's easy. It's like, uh, well, fucking America, man. What are you going to do? That, that absolves him of any responsibility yeah. in the eyes of his constituency, at least. Uh, by the way, he's got a beard now. And is, it, is he the first? What's her name? No. <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he the first human male in history? To grow a beard and look like an even bigger pussy. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, man. is that even possible? Yeah. I saw a picture of him yesterday. I'm like, God damn, you drink your fucking beer through a straw, you piece of shit. I bet he drinks his own urine. Through he a might. straw. He at, yeah. least, he at least bathes in it. Yeah, he has mm-hmm. to. Let's start that rumor, Drink It Bros. Justin Trudeau bathes in his own urine. In that's his own pee pee. That's how he keeps his skin so clear. Yeah, because my, my whole thing is you're pissed <laughs> off about you know people dying in your own country. I know what America would have done. Yeah. Bomb the shit out of that country. So go, fire away, bud. He's the biggest cuck in, in world leader history. Yeah. Because now is the prime time for a fucking cuck old piece of shit. I guarantee you he's sitting at home right now watching his wife get blasted out by a bunch of dudes. Yeah. If not, she's on the phone while he's somewhere else and she's getting blasted. She's getting blasted out by somebody that's not him. He's the type of guy that asks a black guy to, to fuck his wife in front of him to prove he's not racist. Yeah. Like he's that type of dude. Yeah, he's like, just like, all right. Some, somebody in the crowd goes, look, I've got a lot of black friends. I'm not racist. He goes, oh, yeah, well, I let them fuck my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Come on in. Did you out me? What happened right yeah. now? Yeah, did you? Wait a minute. Is there a cuck contest going on there? Did I get out Ooh, that'd be fun. Cuck contest? Can yeah. You imagine? Yeah. <laughs> mm. You into cucking? No. Okay. Actually, no. That is the one thing I'm not into. That's the one, the one thing. The one thing. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else. I have, everything game. else I can like give a little look or a listen. By the way, all I mean, these guys cuck, that come out in don't. public and say they have sex addictions, no. You have impulse control. A sex addiction is where you see a balloon floating around and it hits the side of a wall. And you're like, <laughs> and you're oh, like fuck, hard. I got to go jerk <laughs> yeah. off, man. Go jack that, off. that is a fucking yeah. psychological condition known as sex addiction. Sex ad- addiction. <laughs> That's what that is. You... Not being able to not fuck your secretary while your wife's at home is not sex addiction. Yeah, you don't need to go to rehab for it. No, you just need to go fuck yourself. Yeah. Or just not be married. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking dummies. (laughs) Fuck this guy. Uh, (laughs) Whoa, 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 whoa. (laughs) Florida woman was accused of trying to build a bomb in a Walmart. Uh, All the supplies she needed. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you say that again? Yeah, can we? Yep. Uh, Don't don't know why you're surprised. Whenever a sentence starts with Florida... You know it's going to Nothing be Nothing after it should be a surprise. <laughs> a Florida woman accused was accused of trying to build a bomb in Walmart. She had all the supplies she needed to cause mass destruction. Emily Stallard, which is uh, very shocking that it's an Emily. I know. 37, was uh, arrested on Saturday and charged with attempted arson of a structure, firebombing, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, child abuse, and battery on an officer. A security guard at the store noticed Stollard opening unpaid items, including flammable materials, projectiles, and matches, as she roamed through the store for more than an hour. The arrest report said she had a child with her in the store. Um, <laughs> what? That's the weirdest part. And uh, the initial comment that she had all the supplies to cause mass destruction, that came from the sheriff. For him to say that, it would seem like someone... Uh, would have to have, have seen the materials she had and determined uh, that she could create a bomb, which is, well, just uh, wouldn't be a hyperbole, really. Um, you wouldn't hmm. think so. So uh, I'm trying to Where wrap do you my begin? Where do you end with this? Around this. 
This is a big. Uh, <coughs> there's a lot to deal with here. How old is the child? Mm-hmm. What? Where did the contributing to a delinquency? Because she's thing building come a from? bomb with her kid. Yeah, but that's not contributing to delinquency. Is like buying them cigarettes or beer or some shit. Oh, was the kid building it and she was helping him? Ooh, I, you do need a helper. You can't do that on your own. You can do it on your own. You definitely can. Or I wonder if she do. stopped by the tobacco counter first. No, right? they went to build a bear first. <laughs> got it. And, got it. And yeah. got it. the kid was like, I want to build a bear. She goes, you know what? We can build a bomb. We can build a bomb. It'd be and cheaper. Blow Walmart. Yep. And, and then I can spend the night somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. Not with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bango. <laughs> win, win. I think she stopped by the old tobacco counter, probably picked up uh, some American spirits. Yeah. Gave that to the child to start with. Mm -hmm. Let him light up in the store. <laughs> Yeah. Or it was drugs or something. Yeah, and then she started building the bomb. It was just like, look, just keep that 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 smoke lit, Johnny. Now, I'm need was she to trying to build a fire. bomb, or was it like stuff to cook, like drugs? Do you know what I mean? Like building was, a bomb is such a. She was walking through the store, pulling stuff off the shelves, opening it, and then she started to assemble things. That's what they said. They didn't say exactly what the materials she might have been were. Baking a cake. Uh, I think if hmm. law enforcement shows up, they can tell the difference between baking a cake and making a fucking bomb. Can they? That's fair. Yes. Um, some they cakes. My guess can. is if if it were me, if or if it were me, if <laughs> <laughs> if I were to go to Walmart, build a bomb. Did you just out yourself? Kid? Are you building a bomb, Dan? Is that what we're saying? If it were me doing that, I would be looking for like uh, a pressure cooker, something that it has to be something that's heavy metal that can also be tightened airtight right right and then i would start packing it full of shrapnel and explosive materials yeah yeah, yeah. right <laughs> there's no way you could i'm just saying she's not cooking a goddamn hot dog in a fucking yeah yeah water. well they were saying like flammable stuff yeah no i yeah yeah <laughs> i wish they would say I doubt she what dragged the a fucking were. weber grill over and started yeah. spraying yeah like stuff because that would be like oh maybe she's as crazy she's trying to cook no they obviously thought that she was trying to build a bomb okay yeah i don't know Start with a TV. Walmart's got a lot of TVs. You know? You're building the bomb with the TV? Why not? Do you want to start the Walmart challenge where you have 30 minutes to go inside of Walmart and build a and bomb? And build a oh, bomb? No, you definitely oh, my not. gosh. Actually, we probably won't. Um, and if you don't have a kid, grab one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Find and one. go There's and bring it. You can find one and then contribute. You have, to have a, you have to have a minor with you for the challenge. <laughs> and contribute to the delinquency of said minor. Hand them yeah. some kind of. Like, what was the. I, there's no way she bought them booze or gave, handed them booze or drugs or, or to, I mean, she's obviously crazy, so maybe she did. But was she, like, teaching a class? Did she have a whiteboard up there? Here's how you build a bond. And that's the. I, I'm just trying to figure out what the contribution to the delinquency of this child was. Oof. Who knows? We'll find I have out. So many questions. When the, I'm going to follow this. Was the minor Chilean? Uh, next up, 59-year-old Afghanistan Oop. veteran. We're done after this, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Forever. After me threatening Canceled, Walmart, yeah. apparently. Yeah, yeah we're we're starting a challenge now. where you build a bomb and bring a kid with you. Jeez. Don't do that, by the way. Yeah, we are just Do not joking. build bombs unless it's... Do you think we need to tell them that? Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm. In today's world? Absolutely. Yeah. A uh, 59-year-old <laughs> Afghanistan veteran will report to Army basic training this summer. Monty Gould. Uh, who's a combat veteran and former Marine uh, civil affairs soldier as well, uh, decided to rejoin the Army after Wait, a 10-year break in service. That's wrong. So he's a former Marine and he's a former Army civil affairs person. Okay. But anyways, yeah. Oh, he's not a Marine? He was a, he's a former Marine, yes. He was a Marine, yes. then he joined the Army and became a civil affairs Got it. I soldier. had that written down wrong. I yeah. apologize for that. That's all right. Uh, so uh, so he, he's, he's actually joining the unit. Um, uh, his son is at in Las Vegas, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, it's kind of like weird. This. Like, if you have to, if you have a big enough break in service where you have to go back to basic training, I think the highest your rank can be when you go back in is specialist, mm. which is kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Because his son's a specialist in Las Vegas, so this sixty-year-old dude is going to be a specialist in the same unit where his son is a specialist. I, presumably, his son is in his early twenties. I would say. Gotcha. Yeah, let me ask you a dumb, dumb <laughs> civilian question here. I did not. Th I thought there was an age where you couldn't. For prior service, it's different, mm -hmm. and there's special dispensations made for people in critical skills. So, like, I think the uh, there's two intents for him going back. One is that he left after 17 years of active service, so he's going to go back and try to finish out 20 years of service so he can get mm -hmm. a full retirement. Okay. And the other part is, <clears throat> whatever he knows apparently was important to the military, so they're letting him back in to be uh, something like a teacher or some shit. 
I don't, I'm not exactly sure what, what all. And he has there. to go through basic <laughs> training. Yeah, if you have, I think if you're out for three years or more, recruiters in the audience oh, okay, would know okay. way more about this. But I think for if it's th- three or more, I you think have it's three to go or more back. or two or more years, you have to go back through the oh, whole okay. fucking thing. Dang. Um, Fuck, man. Yeah. How is but that hey. at 59? Can you make those times and stuff like that? It's not the the army spokesperson said that this is not the oldest that anyone's ever been to go through. Apparently, in 1999, someone who was 68 years old went through basic training. Now, I I can't find... I've been looking. If somebody knows out there, please write in and tell us who it is. Yeah. Because that's very interesting to me because this yeah. is before the global war on terror. This is before 9-11. It's 1999. It was during the Clinton military that was like cut down to the bone. So who is this guy at 68 that was accepted, first of all, and second... And he had to be a prior service guy of some sort. And did it and went through and it. And then made it. Yeah. Shit. Like, that's fucking crazy. I want to know who that person is. Uh, we'll be in Vegas. We can ask him. Yeah, we can try to <laughs> look him up. It'd be cool to have him on the show if it's possible. I mean, he's probably going to, like, Fort Jackson or something for basic training. Where so is that at? Uh, Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. So we can cruise down there. I know some drill sergeants down there. We can go down there. Oh, uh, word up. Harass that guy. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, old head. Yeah, old head. Sure. Sure. What gives? Yeah, what gives, man? <laughs> That's it's all just, you say. It's a fucking two-minute podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what gives, man? What do you mean? I just decided to join up. Sweet. Y'all take Bye. care. <laughs> yeah. You want any Marlboros? Uh, this guy is my fucking... Uh, Drink a bro of the week. Yeah, I love it. Monty Gould. I think that's cool. Because that's dope as fuck. It's, yeah, that's it's awesome. W- like, serving your country is an honor. Uh, and doing it three separate times, which is essentially what he's done, going back at this age, is uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. He's, I saw a picture of him. He's in serving? way better shape than either one of us. I'm sure. Look at this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jacked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah. He'll be fine. He's not fucking around. No. Yeah, I think he's he'll be fine. He's playing for keeps, <clears throat> that one. Uh, he's not Trudeau in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, he's not uh, a cuck, you can tell, just by the look in his eyes. I think Firm that, handshake. I, I, yeah, I think it should be changed. A cuck should be changed to a Trudeau. We could do that. Yeah, who's that fucking Trudeau over there? A cuck. Honestly, how do you grow a beard and look like a bigger pussy than before? I don't know, man. It's like it's like somebody trying to dress up like a cowboy, but they accidentally dress up like a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> yeah. And they show up. It's like hey, fucking hey, Sammy y'all. Sosa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They show up to the fucking... Uh, to the cowboy thing, like to the NFR or the PBR or something. Yeah. Like one of those things. And they're dressed like that. And everybody's like. And they also call it a cowboy thing. Yeah. Hey, hey, y'all. I'm well, here for this, the cowboy thing. That would be fucking great. <laughs> they show up to the cowboy thing. <laughs> well, I didn't know which one to say because there's like 80 of them. There's oh. PBR and NFR. There's a bunch of different ones. Oh, it's fine. Oh. Jules' husband used to ride bulls. Who? Oh. Now she rides someone else. They're Jewel? Divorced, yeah. The singer? Yeah. Oh, Jewel. Yeah. Lord. Crush on her as a youth. Even with the tooth. She's hotter now. Yeah, even with the tooth, man. Mm. Um, Bill, huge, huge set of tits. Or, uh, Mitch Hedberg always used to say that he only he wanted to get rid of all of his teeth. He just wanted to have one long, curvy tooth. I'm not sure why, but he died of a drug overdose. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, that guy is dead. Probably it's gone. He's probably dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably yeah, the yeah, drugs, yeah, yeah. I suppose. Well, it was informative. Definitely non-educational today, no. and we learned yeah. a lot about nothing. I feel like you've lost information today somehow. Yeah, I feel like you're dumber for listening to. <laughs> don't this. recount any of the stories. And make about you. bombs. Don't call a normal person handicapable. Uh, well, that we all. Know, why do you say normal? You. Are you saying no, that handicapped people aren't normal? No, yeah, dude. I'm wondering I'm what fucking, exactly you mean by that. Oh now. God, you're canceled. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you and Vince Vaughn are canceled. No, the two of us are gone. Um, I thought that was what they called us. <laughs> Anywho, for Anthony and Anthony Holloway, Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Fake News. Tune in to Broettes. Tune in to Broettes. Subscribe on iTunes, uh, Spotify. <laughs> <laughs>